Jacob Wetterling's mother today said she refuses to be silenced by the stranger who kidnapped her son. Where's Jacob? Where is Jacob? For the first time since last week's arrest, Patty and Jerry Wetterling spoke outside their home in St. Joseph this afternoon. A masked gunman abducted their 11 year old son back in 1989. 26 years later, investigators named 52 year old Danny Heinrich a person of interest in the case. He has denied knowing anything about Jacob's disappearance. WCCO's Esme Murphy is in the newsroom right now with the Wetterling's message and how they think that you can help bring Jacob home. Esme? Well, that's right, Amelia. Patty and Jerry Wetterling made an emotional appeal for anyone with information to come forward. It's an appeal that they have been making for 26 years, but it's clear there is a new urgency. Patty and Jerry Wetterling walked hand in hand down the driveway of their home and made their plea. No one plays a more important role than you, everyday citizens, in reporting that little piece of information when added to other pieces of information will solve the puzzle and bring Jacob home. This is the same home Jacob lived in when the induction happened, the spot where Jacob, his brother and friend were attacked while riding their bikes at 9 p.m. at night is less than half a mile away. The reason we wanted to do this here is because this is, this is where it happened. We still don't know who took Jacob. The Wetterlings did not mention Danny Heinrich by name, but Patty Wetterling did make a reference to the man who is now the focus of a 26-year-old mystery. And I refuse to be silenced by this man. I, I, we were caught off guard like all of you, and we don't have the answers yet. And I really believe that somebody in this community knows. This is what Danny Heinrich looked like 26 years ago, and this is his car at the time, a blue Ford EXP. A tire print from that car is consistent with the tire print at the abduction scene. We will hope and pray that one day we will have the answer to the one question that we've asked forever. Where is Jacob? Somebody knows and we're begging for those answers. Thank you. The Wetterlings will not be in court tomorrow when Danny Heinrich makes an appearance. Patty will be in Washington, D.C doing work at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, work she has been doing for the last 26 years. The entire statement by the Wetterlings is on our website at WCCO.com. All right, thank you, Esme. Danny Heinrich is facing charges for having and receiving child pornography. Investigators say they found binders filled with sexual pictures of boys when they searched his house for clues about Jacob's disappearance over the summer. They say DNA evidence links him to the attack on another boy from the area named Jared. But Heinrich cannot be charged in that case because the statute of limitations has run out. If you know anything about Jacob's kidnapping or Heinrich's past, please call the sheriff's office at 320-259-3700 or 320-656-6625. You can also call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-THE-LOST. We will post all of those numbers for you at wccocom links.